And the example that we're going to do, we're going to use the electrophorus. Okay? So you go, wow, that, that, that looks amazing. It looks like a pizza pan on a plastic stick. And for the most reality part of that, it is a pizza pan on a stick. Yeah. All this is, it is a conductor on a stick. Okay? Um, the reason this one costs about 30 bucks is there's a little sticker on there that has a science company. Well, literally, we uh, have some that is just a piece of metal on a stick, okay? So, yes, if you ever want to go into a really good business, go into the business of making science supplies. Good one. Yeah. So, um, and I actually need one of those worksheets. Does he have one? So, um, what we're going to do here, we're going to start on the side with all the words. This is kind of like a math lib, but there's only one correct answer. So it's not, yeah. Um, um, if you guys want, you guys can see where all the bold words are, all of that. Um, if you want, you can write them in on the blank, or you can circle them, whatever you need. So the important thing on this, so we're, we're going to go through this story, and you guys have all the information to figure out what goes on here. But I'll let you know this is a pretty complex process. Now, you guys are going to be responsible for being able to both reproduce this and also apply it to other situations. Um, so charging the electrophorus by induction. So it says place the base on a table. Here's our base. Okay. Our base is styrofoam. Styrofoam is essentially plastic. So you guys can you know, make your rules according to that. So the base starts with? No. No charge. Good. No. We're, we're cooking with gas. Okay. It says rub the base with fur. So, so the base becomes what? Okay. It becomes negatively charged. Okay, next set statement says the top surface of the base is? An insulator. It's an insulator. The reason why that's a question that's even on there is uh, some electrophorus bases that you actually buy, it's metal coated with a plastic on top. That's the only reason. So to point out, it is an insulator. So any charges that are on there, can they float to the ground right now? No. No. Okay, place the electrophorus on the base. I want you to even cross out on just say above. Okay. The electrophorus, if I place it just above, am I coming in contact with that? No. Am I rubbing them together? No. No, so this is uncharged. Yes. Remains uncharged or neutral, whatever you want. While the base, did I do anything to the base? No, so the base remains negatively charged. Because the base is Negative. negatively charged, this next one should be a freebie. It's saying what's going to move? The protons, the neutrons, the electrons. Okay, obviously the only thing that can move are electrons. Okay. And the uh, so the electrons in the electrophorus move to the top surface. What do we call that if in a uncharged or neutral object? Okay, in the margin, I would write polarization. Okay. So right now, the electrophorus is polarized. On the top are negatives. Why are the negative? Why did the negatives go to the top? They want to get as far away from these negatives down here as they can. Well, <coughs> here comes the next part. It says touch the electrophorus. So I need everybody to listen and oh, oh. okay. Ouch. So obviously there was charging by contact. If you want, to write that in over on the side. You can't. So your finger takes the negative charge. Those negatives wanted to get away. I gave them a way to get away. 
And the electrophorus, it was neutral. I took away negatives. It becomes positively charged. The base, however, can I ever do anything to the base? No. No. The base remains negatively charged. So I bring it away. And then it says, touch the electrophorus with your finger. This was positive. Does it want to remain positive if it's way away from those negatives? No. No. So when I touched it, what happened? All the electrons. The electrons that I just took away whoop, go right on back. So it says when you touch the electrophorus, your finger transfers negative charge, and the electrophorus becomes neutrally charged. In the margin, what do we call it when a charged object gains or loses electrons in order to become neutral? It was grounded in the margin, right grounding. So the last one, it says, the sequence of charging is different from, quote unquote, normal charging, either by rubbing or contact, because what happens at the base? Absolutely nothing. So the base loses no charge during the entire electrophorus charging process. Yeah, you like that? Sorry. Looses. It loses charge. It loses. So wait, the, the base, how did it start? Neutral. Neutral. No, the base, once I charged it, it was negative. Uh, this started neutral. At the end, the base is. <coughs> Base is still negative, and this is. So I'm right back at the beginning in the same exact spot. So what I could do, I can polarize it. I can take a shock, give them back. Polarize, shock. Keep going. Stop. Don't stop. Okay. This is going to happen again and again and again and again and again because. Best way I've heard, ever heard it said. Uh, Lindsay, first period. No, not first period, fifth period. Party. I brought this close and she said, well, well, wait a minute. Right there, the electrophorus is giving me a shock. The electrons are going from it to me because they want to get off. Now over here, I'm giving it a shock. So all we're doing <laughs> electrophorus and I, all we're doing is we're trading back and forth electrons. I say, give me them, there they are. 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 